banter podcast with Paul and Jettis. So I was watching a fucking thing last night with Dad uh, about the new woman Dolores Price, the fucking... Yeah. I, Dolores. I. That's a fucking cold, cold she bitch. She was like, a bad hell. bastard. Man. Hold that. Let's chat about that. We no, going? we definitely do not want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, Wait, she, what? Dolores she, Price? Who is that? She was involved in the disappearing. No, no, no. The no, 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 like Gene McConville. I'll just stay silent on that one. You see, this is why I use her here, because I know there's a lot of conspiracy out there. No, that's, this is not a conspiracy. That's, conspiracy. that's why you don't want to talk about it. Fucking, are we rolling? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the General Badger Podcast. Uh, I'm a bit hot, coming in hot there. Uh, my guest today, <laughs> soon to be suicided <laughs> from the world-famous podcast with the worst name of all time, Deck Chair and Yums. It's Car Keys Mick Bartlett. Yes, yes how's it going? It's great to be here on General Badger, my favourite uh, military uh, rank. <laughs> Have you stopped drinking from since Saturday night? Since since Saturday what? night, <laughs> which was a lockdown. Two thousand and one. <laughs> we are late September, back in sixty <laughs> three. We are uh, we're literally hours away from our, our first. Well, you had a first stand up gig back. Have you gigged yet anywhere at all? No, no, no. I didn't. Sorry, get, I didn't invite I didn't, you. I didn't get invited. Yeah, I'm a travel bastard. But I had to, <laughs> do you know what I mean? I had to test the water. Sure, I know the crack. Before we bring the and I'm literally I'm literally buying this fucking sign system. Hopefully, I haven't asked him yet. He doesn't know about that. But <laughs> Do you know, I'm thinking about making it a... Just make note, if you lend something together, you may not get it back. Yeah. You'll get money for it, but you won't get it back. I'm just such a, just a fucking weird bully. He'd be like, I'll give you money, but it's mine now. I, I want that. I like that. Uh, That's mine. I'll go for convenience. If I, if I, like, if I know a sound guy owns a thing, and no. I know it works, I'll be like, I'll buy that. I'm not going shopping Aye. for, for um, shit. I'll just take yours. Thank and you, you seem like a sound fella, so... I, no, no. This is, this is the level we're at. Here. Anyway, we, I can't believe I got the biggest lollipop as well. Yeah. You do the biggest popping. <laughs> Thank you. The biggest pop in the game. <laughs> pop, pop. So mm. on Saturday night there here at General Matter HQ. Oh, the HQ uh, too. Uh, HQ, uh, HQ as well. Thanks to the Catholic. Uh, uh, there's money about, boys. There's money about. <laughs> HQ. He's, uh, he's, a, he's, a bit of, he's a bit of land about him. You know, rightly. Um, um, so I decided on short note. It was one of them things where it was about two weeks away and I was like, I'm going to organise a gig. And then typical me, I was like, ah, whatever, whatever. And then I was like, oh, that's literally in like a couple of days. Then we got seats and whatever and invited a few people. And it was magical, Michael. Yeah, it was it? absolutely fantastic. I think I was very drunk. Michael, you wouldn't be drinking at the comedy gig. I wasn't supposed to. And then I just got the FOMO. <laughs> the FOMO and the deck chair thing fucking came through like oh, I real, did real oh, hard. Oh, no. Because <laughs> he turns up like fucking <coughs> lip shaking and all. Drinking? Did you say you were drinking? <laughs> you didn't tell me you were all drinking. And I was I'll, like, I'll, I'll book a hotel. I've no money. <laughs> and he's like fucking... <laughs> You know, like fucking. <laughs> Did you go and book a hotel then right away? I, I, I drove Fuck. here and then was like, <laughs> even the next morning I was going. If I, I had, had I left it an extra half an hour, I wouldn't have broke. <laughs> but I was here just early enough to go. Uh, you're like, Fuck it! You're like when someone's on a diet, <laughs> like when you've got the when you got a craving, just drink just a go pint of water it. and uh, meditate. Just brush your teeth. <laughs> yeah, you need you need <laughs> to just walk and have a smoke and come back and be like, yeah, it's retarded. <laughs> <laughs> I can wank in my own house. You know what I mean? <laughs> Can't no, do it. Can't do it in the bath, wank. But, but that's the worst thing because a um, wank in the bath is the worst idea of all oh, time. It's, it's a nightmare. Uh, what happens when semen hits water? I mean, it's like when semen. That's not like a joke. Uh, like a joke. Uh, yeah, yeah. What happens when semen hits pubes? Uh, wet, not, wet, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a modern man. He's not, not a pube between me. No, what a well. Not, not in the front. Anywhere the back, like a carpet. Uh, yeah. I'm, I, I would go with what they know as the culture, uh, uh, which uh, is just uh, hasn't just been fucking touched. Hasn't been gone near. Really? A hedgerow. Not so even what, the. What would, what, would we, what would we be shaving it for? You don't need to shave it, like, but you can take it down and that's just, right. just, oh, just to make the what, what piece more pronounced. Yeah, what would we be cutting for? Cut? Do you, know what I mean? you couldn't pronounce a piece as small as that. Do you know what I mean? What do you mean? When you've got a you, small. You know, know, we, we grow, we grow, grow I will know when I'm fucking packing See, no. <laughs> no. I've said a long time. Uh, my, I, my, I, my dick might be the, the highlight of my body. No. My eyebrows. No. I think I have pubes longer than my cock. Um. I sometimes I see. Do you ever be like taking a piss in a, like a fucking urinal somewhere, and you look at it and you go, "Whose pubes are they?" <laughs> do you ever just see a pube and you're like, "You know, like why the fuck is uh, it like eight inches long?" Uh, you know, you'd be like parting it to just find your fucking dick. Why are they the color of Mickey's beard? <laughs> yeah. Fuck Here, you wanted the blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I did see whenever you put up that thing in your story, you know, when you got a new Instagram and had a mental breakdown, right. and then you were going around with your fucking, your gunt hanging out, and I was like, Jesus Christ, tell me you didn't laugh. <laughs> and you fucking threw up on my brand new iPhone. I like, I hope this is waterproof. He fucking rang social services. I fucking giggled, my it, it, it For was, an hour and a half, I was lying in a hotel in the nip. It was more <laughs> disgusting to me that you had no pubes. 
Do you know what I mean? You look like a back of a fucking uncooked turkey. <laughs> see, I'm, I'm not on social media. What do you do? Oh, do you <laughs> not see it? No. Did you see it on no. no. So, right, Tuesday night, I took myself off to a wee hotel. I remember that, right? yeah. And, yeah. Was, and you were I drinking wine in, in the bath. Wine in the bath. Right? <laughs> and then it was going, right, set up on your Instagram. I was going, right, okay, I have to do something funny here to come back on Instagram. Oh. And there's a big, I don't know what the name of it is, but it was loaded like people, basically women on social media doing this like no makeup challenge thing. <laughs> Where they're like, there's oh, no makeup touch, on, and then you touch, touch the, the screen, screen, take your hand away, and you're wearing your makeup. So I was like, sat on my own, like, oh, posing. Oh, no. Touch the screen, put my hand back, I was completely bollock naked, apart from my socks, with my dick tucked between my legs. It's horrifying. Running about the bathroom, like the, a T-Rex. You did the fucking, oh, you did the full buffalo I was waiting for. I was waiting for you to spin around and <laughs> see the full nuts hanging out the back. I fucking, like, even though it was me did it, I was like, that's the funniest thing I've ever oh. seen. <laughs> it rubs lotion on itself. <laughs> Would you fuck me? I'd fuck me. Just to fucking knock at the door. Hi. Like, are you alright in there? <laughs> you see them get knocks on the door no. to premiere in, do you? Uh, you, you, gotta be, you gotta be in a fan. No one's knocking the door. Would you like your bed turned down? <laughs> and you're like, let me get the crusts off at first. <laughs> There's a hot bang under the pillow. <laughs> let me peel this sheet out of the wall. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, people, sometimes people ask me, do I miss much not being on social media? Clearly, fucking not. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I was so, well, I, you know, you, there's certain things you can't unsee. That's what I think. I've never it's, seen it's, that. So. I, I enjoy the fact that I have potentially <laughs> the weirdest body on a human. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, guys. <laughs> The guy, the guy, I'm not one to talk. I mean, I have a terrible body, obviously, but I mean, you're, yours is weird. Just, mine's just is not just, looked after at all. Yeah, mine's just odd looking. Yeah, like. yours looks, yeah, like they screwed your legs on. Like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're literally like Mr. Tato Man. Like the, <coughs> not facially, you know. My entire body looks like, looks like a photo fit of, like the fact that I've got, have you ever seen my, my feet? Like one toe's massive. <laughs> No, <laughs> the, the big toe on my right foot. That's how I can skip. So good. it looks like somebody else's toe. You, you've told us about it, the hammer toe, but I yeah, don't know. Just it a is. big old fucking. Which one? Like, like the first one, the big toe. The big, the big toe, but it's a big fat. It looks like a. Dick. And it's just one of them, or both. Just one of them. Uh, What's the other one like? The other one's normal. The other one's dead on. <laughs> and then this, this this toe here looks like it looks like I'm going through a Hulk change, but it just stopped. At the toe. <laughs> 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 it's green. Like, I, like it was I full. Think, yeah, I, I, think I, I was full raging, but I'm not dead on. I was like, no, I've calmed down now. <laughs> I think that's Gang Anavar in the foot. I think that's gangrene. You want to know my secret, Mr. Stark? <laughs> Moldy I'm <toe>. always angry. <laughs> Are you? No, actually. Just, <laughs> I just once a year, have a wee cry, and then I'm all right. <laughs> don't be torn at all time. <laughs> what would be the one job you could do with just a big toe? Like, oh fuck, right, balance no. act. I know, play drums or something. Just fucking. <laughs> yeah, maybe work on. I'm going. <laughs> Are you working a sewing machine? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, seamstress Mick. Uh, you count money. <laughs> count money. <laughs> Didn't want me to. I see it through my shoe. Mick, did you, did you see the picture circulating at the weekend? And it was like men in their thirties wearing skinny jeans, and it was a pug standing up. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like a French bulldog, yeah. and it just had these fucking spindly legs. Exactly. I didn't want to, I didn't want to say that. <laughs> see, I'm a fat cunt, but I've got good, th- good thick legs. Like, I, you're I, like I, a coffee I, apple. I, I, you just fucking yeah. two wee sticks on an apple. Absolutely, look like I've survived polio. Yeah. <laughs> like polio, uh, off around. It's just a beer belly, two bits of spaghetti, and a massive toe. <laughs> <laughs> you're, just, you're like a yo-yo upside down. <laughs> Unbelievable! It's good to be back on the podcast. That's, That's good. Yeah, just to take a sure, person. Been awake, sitting here with these two fucking models. How's, uh, how's lockdown fucking... made for you, Colin? I'm seeing you need you. Oh, it's been um, fabulous. As you can imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Uh, <laughs> We've been hanging out loads, haven't we, Colin? What do you use podcasts well, whenever you... Do you can't sh- tell it. Well, sh- Deck turned on to HQ. The Shed of Truth. <laughs> what about it? HQ. <laughs> H- <A> capital Q. <laughs> <laughs> Deck turned on to HQ and on. Yeah. Um, HQ and on. No, yeah, the, the Shed of Truth. But we're back because we couldn't really stay in the Shed of Truth for too long because uh, fuckers strumming the gardens and uh, oh, yeah. rain on a tin roof doesn't go well in the podcast. fella next door. <laughs> I just thought I would warn you this. Shed's on fire. <laughs> no, it's not. It's just Mickey's face. Yeah. <laughs> we did it one afternoon. And did you ever see a shed, a wooden shed, how hot it gets? I was thinking. In, in that, like, I was one of those hot stinking. days in May. Aye. <laughs> we came out of it. Two of them. The fucking air just Aye. got us. It was like a three, because we did two podcasts. So oh. three three hours, three and a half hours. And like a song. You smoke in it? Mm. I smoking fags the whole way. And it was just a complete nutter fucking. That's do you know, nice. like, do you, know you see those like weird movies where like Native Americans would take you into a hut and make you hallucinate? <laughs> yeah. I was all seeing, I was seeing fucking... Jim Morrison all. I think we need to book a gig Your wife comes out Like a shaman With cups of Ice water Just throws water over um, Fucking steaming 
<laughs> well, you had to put hot water, uh, water over those stones to make them fuck it. Uh, <laughs> we were the stones. <laughs> fire fire. Fire. Like, I was talking about this on a podcast like a few weeks ago with Maureen, I think, and there used, there used to be like a social club near our house. Right. And we used to, we, before you could like work or fucking drive or anything, you just like stroll down in the summer, like the boys are going to gym and all. And then we saw it in there. And we'd be throwing, you, like it was, nobody used it. It was me you were telling about. Oh, I was throwing fucking parade on the thing and all. <laughs> Get a bit of steam going up. <laughs> Just the lads <laughs> fucking oh, shit. I, off, I, off, I, tonic solid. <laughs> door open. semester at school there on them. Oh. Door opens oh. and it's like fucking Asgard, all this blue smoke. Yeah. <laughs> Put me ass and Asgard. Tonight, Matthew, house. I'm going to be energised. <laughs> Do all the sweat in the one, fuck's sake. Fucking right, babe. Sweat Me and we're, we're going to do a fucking float tank later in the week, aren't we? We're going to do a... I, I don't we're know what. I still, I still have a, a doubts about it. I don't know about the floating thing. Have you ever done one before? Would it fit? Would you use fit? I don't think I Are you just going to be sitting on a deck chair? It's not in a <laughs> weird feet in it. Like, <laughs> like it's a foot spa <laughs> with a margarita. <laughs> Pizza. <laughs> Fucking 16 inch margarita. <laughs> Still in a cup though. <laughs> <laughs> my, my mom made it for me so I could drink it easier. I don't like using my tapers because I've got awful soft due to the diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> I drink my pizzas. <laughs> I don't know where I, I, a floating. We should explain what that is. <laughs> like so, an isolation tank yeah. thing. Did you so, get an offer? Or did we, well, we hunt that out? Mikey, we've been talking about this. We've talking about it, but uh, um, I still, I still don't know if it's a, a of a middle lured into something. <laughs> still, just don't trust it. Uh, no, that, I think I mean, uh, you see, I mean, it's just sensory deprivation. It's so that you can just lie there and like think with n- you know you're not sitting on a seat, you're not feeling anything, yeah. you're just yeah. floating. But you could, I mean, if fucking great for like meditation type things. Yeah, or? more or less. Yeah. Well, it's, it's good for because I've done one before. It's good for if you've any muscle pain or any shit like that as well. It just somehow fucking it's you relaxes. Well, yeah, the fuck just, it's class. Like, you yeah. need to have muscles for pain. You can sort of yeah. do that too with you know if you listen to one of them guided meditations and it fucking tells you how to like relax all your body. You can do that right. and then just put the sign cancel and headphones on. But those things fucking I always end up getting but they you can't wank anywhere, uh, you know what I mean? When you're when you're in the tank. I know. You know, you can fucking Oh, it's not it's not a wank tank? No, well they go in, they go like there's so much salt in this fucking you're gonna be more salt than the end of it. Uh, <laughs> never tell you. It's too. <laughs> I'm really worried about your taking me to, but I'm you're, fucking, you're, fucking sorry, fucking you'll be in your own wee tank. It's alright, I'm not gonna be there with although there is a fucking I looked on the website, you can go in as a couple. I thought that's what we were doing. No, we're not You we, can go in as a couple? You can go in there's big ones we can go in as a couple. I'm like that doesn't that doesn't sound a good crack to me. Right. Uh-huh. Because you'd be floating about bumping into each other. Taps oh, off. Well, that's what I thought. Oh, I'm sorry, go on ahead. I, I thought that's what we were doing. Deck chair and nut yums. Ugh. You'd be fucking... Plus, me and you in the same tank, the water would come out of it. God <laughs> forgive You might as well just sit in a trailer in your fucking garden. <laughs> but imagine the friction of the ditties when they're rubbing against each other. I don't want to talk to you anymore. <laughs> I would be worried. He's got the visual image. I, got the, the, uh, disgust on his face. <laughs> we're supposed to record our podcast tonight, and I don't want to. <laughs> sorry, just stick up your hole. Stick up your hole. So this is the which is apparently which is apparently what you were trying to do in the fucking float tank. <laughs> so this is final the the, the last deck journey on the podcast <laughs> that ever happened. He's had a good stretch. Well, we've been on for six fair, months there. Fair, fair, do you keep all the conspiracy stuff for the the Patreon then? Yes, Colin. We don't call it conspiracy. Actually, uh, yeah, we talk about um, truth. We, we talk alternative, about alternative, alternative media. We talk about um, truth on the other podcast. <laughs> is do you believe that uh, is Trump their guy? He, they're like he's the one trying to do some good over here. Uh, and they keep sl- sneaking out those clips like there's stuff going on that's very wrong and they're like say good, good fella uh, oh fuck because there's what too many question. pictures of him with just everybody isn't there yeah oh he's, be, he's um, that's the thing about him he, he we sort of especially since he became president you sort of forget how much of an absolute player he was oh yeah um, like back in the 80s 90s he was the man in New York yeah. um, but he's, I, f- so I feel like to say that he'd be oh, to say that he'd be completely Innocent would be, yeah. I mean, he's definitely been riding all around him. Like, yeah, I don't. I, I just uh, innocence wise, I'm not too sure what uh, <laughs> how that a place. Sorry, I just fucking because he has a dangerous con, especially when you know these guys with loads and loads of money. Because did he not pay? You know, he had a dinner or something like a birthday dinner, and he like paid the Clintons to go. Which I feel like is a, such a power move, isn't it? Like, yeah, yeah. just to be like, come to my dinner. I, I, I don't want to. There's a quarter yeah, million. Yeah, I heard a thing about him where like how he made loads of money as well was basically. He'd, he'd got he'd got his name to a certain point where he was able to go into banks and get loans from them, and then just go, "You're not getting it back." Yeah, like yeah. They didn't ask for any proof. He was just like, "I'm Donald Trump." He did that with like, are, like construction companies and yeah. deals and stuff that he had. Where he was just like, "Ah, we're not gonna pay you." And what are you gonna do about it? Because because weirdly, even though it's a con thing to do, part of me goes, "I mean, I hate the banks that much." I'm like, "Fair play to you." Yeah. Well, <laughs> fuck, I'd love to do it. Uh, I, I I do believe there's something. 
if you could look past Trump, so that that would mean looking to 2015 mm-hmm. earlier. If you go to 2015 earlier, that's the best way to look at Q, because people can't see past Trump at the moment. Yeah, he's such. You know, he. he it's, I said it's the same. Poison. About, I said the same about Kanye West the other day. I was like, he's such a fucking mentalist. Aye. When he yeah. drops some haters, you forget that he can rap like fuck. Yeah. Aye. And you same sort of forget, Trump. same as Trump, you forget he's a fucking pretty good businessman. Yeah. <laughs> Whether it's fraudulent or not, Aye. he's he's good. I I think you need to remember how shitty the world was before Trump came along. Before you can really look at you, like in what regard? And like people are blaming Trump for everything now. You're like, no, no, no. This shit was fucking terrible and long before you came along. You see those big fucking menus of of the of like facts where people are like, oh, he did this and he did this, and you know, especially when it came to like caging people at the border and all this shit, and they were like, everyone did it. Obama deported more people than any president yeah, ever like, before. That's regular shit. Yeah, it's just he's such. I mean, it happens with a lot of celebrities. Where pe- people who don't like them, as soon as there's something to jump on, yeah, they oh, absolutely, yeah, rip them completely down. Right. But yeah. it's like everyone was doing it. It's just you don't you like. It. It's just that yeah. fucking Obama was like, hey, fucking. Well, that's, but Ob- I think it's one of those things where Obama, like, obviously his speeches, everything he ever said was written for him. Yeah. So he never went off script. Whereas Trump will be halfway through something, or oh. you rush through a script to be like, so then we're gonna. Uh, we're disinfecting yeah. bleach. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, that's what I'm yeah. If, if he just my stuck to the words that are written, he'll be fine. Yeah. He's but just, he, he, he just, just pretends to give a fuck and he doesn't at all about anything. Yeah. I don't think any I don't think any fucking politician does though. I don't you know. know what I mean? I don't know. There's something there's something definitely. Apart never, from Bernie Sanders, I was feeling the burn what they'll, a guy. They'll mm-hmm. never get any sort of fucking power though. No. There's yeah. loads of them sound good. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Like they'll go not, on Rogan and talk everyone's like, This sounds great, man. They'll never get power, no. No. Well, that's the way it used to be. We don't know what how, what the future's going to hold, but that's the way it always has worked in the past, is that you had to do some dirty shit or be involved in some dirty shit to get to that top level. Yeah. I'm and the s- weird thing, because I remember whenever Trump was, we did a live podcast in Lavery's. Right. And Trump announced he was running, because I think Kanye said he was going to run at the same time. Mm. And I said, like, at least he's got his own money to do it. Because that's the one yeah. thing is that he, yeah. even though he's a fucking dislikable twat, yeah, he did have his own fucking and he's capital. Not, he's, not taking a, he's not taking a salary either. Yeah. Sure, what the fuck would he do? What do they get? It's like that's what he'd be like. But no, they're well, it's it's decent enough. But pull that out of a hooker's arse. (laughs) (laughs) He, uh, he, I think he's the first president that's going to come out of it uh, with less money than he had when he went in. Mm. Every other single president came out with a shitload of money. But you had to ask where did they get the money from? When people start like lobbying and all that shit, and you have to start licking a few holes. Then, Literally, then, then everybody's got like mm. you know some sort of hold on you, like. But that's, he's kind well, of just like, nah, fuck you. Right. I'll do what I want. Well, that was Epstein and Maxwell's job. Yeah, that's their job is to get the. Well, that's the, always dodgy when people are like, oh, the, the billionaire or something, and you're like, but are they going to work every day? They're just in their fucking. Yeah. Well, their job was their to, joggers, was to, bucking fifteen year olds. That's it. Them, them, but the, like their job was to get the likes of <laughs> all the celebrities over there, and this is the thing. You see, but the, you watch the Netflix documentary on him. Yeah. Yeah. So. Tough wank. <laughs> the <Check> Netflix. <laughs> the, they did mention it, uh, and this is sometimes the problem with some of the QAnons. They'll just take anything as given and just run mad with it, and they're completely off point. Yeah. So they even said in the documentary that some people genuinely flew out, had lunch with them. I'm sure. To talk about business right. and then went home. I'm sure. But because they're on the flight log, everybody's like, oh, they're all pedophiles. You're yeah. Like, oh, how long? Just, you know, be careful. Yeah, because be some of them, fucking... it doesn't even make sense. No. Right. Acon? Yeah, no. that was a that was Michelle a Wolf one. went down. And yeah. that's what it, but 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 you never, but you don't she, know. she was so anti Trump, but they're like she's a pedophile. You're like I, I don't think nah. she is. Yeah, yeah you got to be very careful on that. Like, and I'm sure there was there was a lot of, do you, do you know what I mean? Like there was a lot of action. Yeah, but there was like select few that are like, you know what I mean? It's, I, it's like it's, it's a it's a secret society. That's a point of it. You're it's not like going, you could have a party at your house, yeah. but only your mates are, you know, you're going to like, smoke weed or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's exactly. like that. Same thing. Except he had a fucking lift that went from that thing down into the... Do you know what blew my mind? When they were talking to the fucking, um, like the gardener or whatever he was, and and he, he was like, oh yeah, I've seen Prince Philip fucking grind up against this guard with no top on. Prince Andrew, Prince Philip. what did I say? Yeah. Prince, Prince Philip. Philip. Oh, Philip would have been better. <laughs> 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 I don't like the blacks. I don't like blacks. But, uh, <laughs> but I take a yellow. <laughs> uh, can I tell you a secret? We're actually German. Prince Philip. <laughs> oh, fuck that up, thanks. Prince, Prince the singer. Uh, <laughs> no, but the, the guy was like, "Oh yeah, they showed me the photo of uh, of, of this girl. Who, what's the main girl? The blonde girl that was like in the photo with him." 
Oh, I can't oh, remember. Forget her name. Yeah, but Jeff showed, showed a picture when she was like about thirty or something, and he's like, oh, "I have no idea who that is." And then they showed the photo <laughs> again whenever he stands beside Prince fucking whatever Albert, and uh, <laughs> and he goes, "Oh yes, I remember. That was the girl <laughs> who had her tits out at the pool." <laughs> Fucking two and two together. Yeah. And I was like, "You're a fucking creepy cunt too." <laughs> I didn't, I didn't realize yeah. till I seen her when she was fifteen. Yes, them were right. the beast things I was seeing <laughs> as I was in the bush hauling the bag off myself. And, and, <laughs> but this is this is the thing. You see, people, it's very easy to go the whole. They're all pedos. Right. and look, you see a lot of that shit at the moment. But there's fucking many forms of sexual deviancy, like for sure. You know what I mean? There's right. so many ways. You get, you get the Cosby, the Weinstein, the Space. Yeah. You know, there's loads of that stuff. that's all. So it's taking the whole lot. You said like that's the move. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so that's, 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 <laughs> that's the progression. <laughs> yeah, you've got that's the evolution of rape. Yeah, I, you've got the shocker, the showstopper, yeah. the Cosby, the Weinstein, the <laughs> rusty <laughs> trombone. <laughs> when you're doing the sp- Alabama <laughs> hot pocket. <laughs> when you're doing the Spacey, that's the it avalanche. done. That's it. You're out. You're done. But yeah, so I don't know. There's a lot. Of, see the crack about uh, Maxwell's secret husband. Fuck, didn't see so that. She was married, but she won't tell them who she married. So somebody is a, a legal husband of hers. But um, well, I've seen the thing brought up this morning about uh, the judge in the Epstein case. <laughs> Michael, you're gonna now you're gonna make people think this is a conspiracy. I'm just that. saying. Why would he do? So the judge or <laughs> her husband and son were fucking shot by a FedEx driver yesterday or something. The son was killed and the, the Out there in the streets they call it murder. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. Like it's, 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 but it's just like, that, that's just a coincidence because you know how ravenously murderous FedEx, FedEx drivers oh, can be. Mad you know, they're mad crazy bastards. That's why I stick with them. They're always shooting people on the doorstep. <laughs> Shout out to DPD. <laughs> Shout out to Barry at DPD. <laughs> Uh, the big man Sean from Hermes. <laughs> Take your time, lad. <laughs> have you I, heard? Have, I have a mate Sean who works with DPD, and he, <laughs> and, he, and he likes to call himself a deep penetration distributor. I can't even say it. No, deep penetration distributor. Um, cool. <laughs> no, because he female think, body inspector. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'll no. Talk to driver about penetration. <laughs> The bullets. <laughs> Here, I was going to say, have you, have you seen this fucking wave of people th- being like, uh, you know, Gillian Maxwell was a victim of. Epstein's like abuse and you know oh, she was Jesus bullied and Christ. she was you know like she was scared and that's why she did all this shit and everything I haven't seen any they've of that even got, Ep- got the- Epstein was Maxwell's <laughs> bitch of course <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we uh, egg, Maxwell egg deck over there you think of her dad I remember I remember it happening with her dad uh, where he he died on the yacht he disappeared yeah and funnily enough, all the pension funds that he was in charge of also disappeared with him. Like millions upon millions went missing. Mm. Um, and then she appears then to be the fucking the kingpin or the queenpin mm-hmm. of all the shit. Uh, it's Mossad. It's the it's the intelligence agency. That's what they, they they work for. So that's what they did. The honeypot. That's what they call it. The honeypot. Is yeah. when you get them they, they, blackmail them. I mean, they did that for fucking years. Years. I literally did it here in Belfast. I literally too. just think I I was. Um, Talking to, I can't remember. You know, you've just done fucking 18 podcasts, you can't even remember who you were talking to. But they were saying about all those like eating fucking bully boy type clubs in England, mm. you know, like these like fucking elite schools. They do all this fucking pig fucking and weird shit Aye. just so that they all have shit on each other. That's all it is, yeah. And that's I think how they control each other. Yeah. I think it's like the yeah. same thing. It's like, oh, come on, we'll do some business over here. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you're not lured over. Maybe you're not like, there's a fucking Key Stage 3 student here with her asshole open. Well, and you're right. like, <laughs> like, up it and snatch. <laughs> you're, trying to, you're trying to give me heartburn? Uh, it's like, maybe you get there for lunch and then have a few drinks and share your fucking parka, parka helicopter. Ah, you never know what'll happen. And, uh, it came and then, from beyond you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then next, next, next minute, you know, you wake up and they're like, well, we've got a wee tape on you here. Mm-hmm. Well, remember the girl said, in, I, how much would you love to get inside Epstein's New York apartment for a nosy? I'd love that. Okay, right. but, uh, he would have some footage. So. The, the girl was like, oh yeah, this room just was like fucking minority report. TVs, you know, yeah. just TVs all the place. All over the place, yeah. Yeah. He they was, just, they they just recorded shit, everything. Shit on everybody. Oh, everybody. It, and it? to be honest with you, I'm, I'm starting to point thinking, <clears throat> do, did they have something on Trump? Who the fuck? Were you, could, you know, that's that's is that the reason right. what all this is about? Did they actually have something on Trump? You know, you have to question everything. I, like, we say this in the podcast all the time. Are they not? I feel like you know, we we don't believe. Uh, I, I I'm still on the fence in regards to Trump. I don't know if he's. I know it's definitely not what the media is telling me, but I don't know what his end goal is in think, regards to all this shit. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, like he thought he would try and get above everybody before they fucking. Yeah, I think it's it's either completely true and they're they're taking down all the corruption that's happened in the world, which is a big fucking yeah. again not a conspiracy. We know corruption's been all over the place, yeah. uh, or he's just transferring the wealth to him and his buddies. 
which mm-hmm. is very likely too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And probably more likely. Occam's razor and all that crack. You know that crack? What's that? It's whatever. If all things given equal, the easiest option is probably most likely. I had a stroke there when you said that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, wow. make, I didn't make that up. Um, Say it again. All things being equal, it means that, uh, if there's two options, and the easiest one's probably more likely this one. You know. The more, okay. Yeah. So what's more likely? He's taking a lot of money for himself, or he's completely changing the world. Yeah, or at fucking 80 or whatever, he's decided he's Jesus all of a sudden. Yeah. And it affects everything. Yeah, he's the Do man. you not think when you're that age, I'd be like, listen, I'm just going to go ahead and keep <laughs> getting these suck jobs from right. a bunch of 15 year olds. This is the thing. Why, that's, that's the other thing that gets me. Why did he do it? Why exactly what you're saying? Why do it? He could just re- spend the last rest of his years playing golf like he's doing, anyway, yeah, and just living his millions. Like, what the fuck was the point? What extra money was he going to get? So, was it more about his family, his, his children getting the next level of fucking supremacy or whatever? I don't know, but or just, or keeping, is it even it, just keeping it there, keeping it there, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I know it's, it's, it's such a hard if I was that, like, I like if I tick over the age of 50 and I have to fucking be somewhere at a certain time, even mm-hmm. I'm gonna be like, I've failed in my life. <laughs> Although I could quickly, t- I mean, minus the fucking child fucking, but like, yeah. I could, you'll, be, you'll be on time for that, of course. I, 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 could, <laughs> not so, I was gonna say, I was gonna say the idea of a fucking island with someone walking around with fucking jugs of ice water. I'm like, sound good, you know. But like we talked about before, she's just some big milkmaid. Oh, some fucking, big, yeah, <laughs> tattooed fucking. I'm no. here for your fucking twelve o'clock. No, she, ha- she has to be called Deirdre. <laughs> Ding dong! <laughs> You're like, dude, who is it? Patricia! <laughs> Have you got the Kamogi helmet on? I do indeed. Come on up! <laughs> <laughs> she comes up with two welding gloves on. <laughs> pull it out! At least, <laughs> you lazy cunt, you wouldn't even pull it out. Pull your dad. Say, it looked like your pubes. Connor fucks it along with your dick. <laughs> I'm not touching that till you fucking shave it. Uh, <laughs> just some big dog just waving your pubes. I can't, I can't find it. Deirdre'll put up on the pile. Uh, I'll put up on it. <laughs> She's not back into Sunday, so <laughs> you would do something. I just fucking think, I just, it, it, the, the that weird elite sort of cr- seediness freaks me out. See, when you start you watching see, a lot yeah. of things, it's like, they're satanic and all, and you're like, why? Well, that, why are they so motivated? Do you know, the just thing, fucking relax with yeah, you? Yeah, the thing that always gets me is, the, I we we could never understand, not, not even you, Like we could never understand what it's like to have that much money that it doesn't matter. What do you mean, not even me? Not even you, because you're loaded. But it was... <laughs> Listen, <laughs> let me talk you through this. Uh, well, Nineteen ninety nine, IKEA. This is this is, this is sixty uh, pounds. Sixty pounds. This is all relative. The girls are three, live at home, <laughs> married away, and yeah. Well, you're married with a child, but yeah, uh, you don't have the teenage years yet to come. That, that's on the way. But yeah. what I'm saying is, we can't get our mindset into what happens if you're if you're twenty two and you're a fucking multi billionaire and you've had every sports car there is. You've mm-hmm. Been with every model there's going, you've got mansions yeah. here in every single country. What else is left? Yeah, so it is power, it's power and manipulation. That's all that's left. It is like you just, it, it you know, your fucking Lamborghini runs out of petrol and you just leave it there, just leave it there, right. get another one. Get like, another it's, one. Yeah. it's it's that level of wealth. I'm yeah, not talk, you know, there's no in between the middle, there's it obviously happens because elsewhere. It, it, I can, yeah, it would just it would spiral out of control so quickly yeah. because they even talk about you say, like. They have to set fucking NBA players down now and be like, stop trying to keep up with all your mates who've been playing for 15 years and this yeah. is your first year here and you've spent all your fucking money on <laughs> McLarens, you right. stupid cunt. Yeah. And you see it in but football that, as well. It, yeah, it just starts to get crazy. And, mm. You know, you see all them fucking, you know, all those like Arab chic type fellas where the guy's like, oh, I have a, you know, a paddock Philippe and it was quarter million. And the guy's like, fuck that. Mine's covered in blood diamonds. Mine's fucking right, yeah. eight million. And the guy's like, yeah, it's made out of fucking virgin teeth and, uh, you know, dolphin well, cock. Like, I and stole just, one and I don't have a hand. It just, yeah. <laughs> Mine keeps falling off. He's going to be tiny watch around his hook. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a ring. But it just, it just no gets straps. No straps. It just gets crazier and crazy. My dad knew this guy. He was like a contract. Because my dad worked like in Bombardier and he had a mate who was like contracting in different places. Air, you build an aircraft mm-hmm. and they, he was somewhere making planes you know like a fucking Learjet for like yeah. private some always Arab guys or Russians oh, oh, yeah. no. and he's like they would just get the most unnecessary shit you know like he's like we're putting a marble floor in a fucking Learjet <laughs> and it cost fucking like whatever hell. wherever it was from yeah. the shipping and all he goes, it was like fucking a million and a half to get this to fucking get a, to put a floor in yeah but that's what I'm saying. That's, and they just that's, just because a guy walks up and goes uh, yes and then leaves and they have to fucking do it and right. that just gets crazier and crazier I have girls so he's like I have 20 girls and he's like yeah. I've got the fucking embryos in the <laughs> in, in the fucking laboratory what, what type of girl you like yeah. six tits 
I get, I get your six tits. No problem. You want three front, three back? <laughs> Spin around like a... Tits are like a fucking accordion. Tits, tits on the back would be amazing. Not like my tits on my back. Know, like <laughs> Let me tell you. There's, yeah. <laughs> Not all it's cracked right. up for me. <laughs> I had a tattoo back and now it's a tit with a, tit with a tattoo. <laughs> I watched that. I watched this. Someone said this thing and they're like, oh, oh my God. They're like, oh my God, don't show, don't show Mickey account of this. And it was like, you know, one of these uh, rabbit hole fucking stories where it just, oh, on, yeah. on Instagram right. where it had a million dots and it was just info, 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 frazzled rep, da, 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 all this other shit. Yeah. And uh, one of them was like, I, I should have. I didn't pay much attention to it. I was in a cafe. <laughs> <laughs> I was having a fucking smashed apple. Going, Jesus Christ! Did you believe that? And some guy's name, and they they brought up this thing. They're like, "Oh, this was like the Dead Man Switch video that some guy had." Oh, Isaac Kappa, yeah. So Who you know, was that? He's the guy that called out uh, Tom Hanks and someone else, and then he had a but he, he did have a breakdown. He, he he did like a half an hour Facebook Live video right. um, where he he wouldn't say what it was he did. But he said, I made a very... And I couldn't, I couldn't try and figure it out. I thought maybe it might have been something financial. It wasn't about kids. Anyway, what he did? What he did. He just said, I did something very fucking stupid. It was last minute. It was very rash. But I'm paying the price for it now. And I can't tell you what it is. Blah, blah. Then he was... Somebody did... on No, in Facebook Live, you can see him reading questions. Uh, and he was like, no, I'm not suicidal. I'm just letting you know that blah, blah, blah. And then died that night. Next day. Next day. What did he do? Uh, he, he jumped he, off a bridge? <laughs> jumped off a bridge, yeah. Into oh. a lorry, so we don't know. We don't know what he what he had done. I don't know what the actual thing was. He said it wasn't about the kids, but he, he but he had that video because in this, his fucking thing, he, he put up this video and of I, young young girls with jugs walking around and stuff. Yeah, it looked like a fucking. I haven't even seen that one. Fucking. It, it looked like a it's spa. like a it's like a Turkish bath spa, Aye. but it's like and it looks eight like eight it year old girls. Like it looks like something. it has yeah. staff that are children. Uh, yeah. In like togas, togas and shit, no, walking right. around. I could, I, like again, I could barely swallow my black pudding. Uh, it's, I swear to God, brunch, it but I was literally just like, fucking... was, it, "Was he there with you?" I was like, <laughs> <laughs> African American pudding. But that's uh, it's 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 actually well, who, all, apart who, from discussion. Was the video? Like where was that video? So he that's that's what his apparently his kill switch basically was. That if anything was to happen to him, he'll release this video. So that they're they're trying to debate where that. But was it like fucking video Tom, was taken? Tom Hanks's house or something? It's probably your woman uh, Vanderbilt, who, Gloria Vanderbilt's house. Who is well, she's dead now, but she's the mother of Anderson Cooper, you know, the CNN oh, yeah, news yeah, guy. Yeah. He's a. Hmm. I, I was going to say he's a dirty boy, but he had no choice. If you take a look at his upbringing, like his mother was a proper Satanist. You should see his bedroom. There's a photograph Seriously? of him in his bedroom. Swear to fuck, the Satanist fucking, uh, what do you call them, dioramas up above his bed and all. Fucking hell. Fuck me. And what a way to live in that fucking firehouse in New York or something? Anderson Cooper, have you ever seen that? No. He lives, he lives in a firehouse? Yeah, no, I'll show you it. It's oh, of it's course he does. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Boy sliding down his pole all day. <laughs> oh, <aye. laughs> Who are you going to call, Anderson Cooper? <laughs> Some hidden compartments in that place. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Did I, did I fuck kids? <laughs> Jinky's he's banging kids too. Uh, I I don't I don't know. I honestly don't know. Not that I would know anything about it, but he definitely had a weird upbringing. Um, he's definitely <laughs> he's definitely linked with the CIA because he's working on CNN. But uh, oh god, so is this, that his house there? Uh, one of them, I think. Yeah, it's like a big old fire house. Yeah. Oh, newscasters get a queer salary, don't they? Oh, why? For oh, fucking why? talking on... Oh, I want to see Pamela Ballantyne's house. Lives <laughs> <laughs> <Listen, listen laughs> in an clock. Just lives in an army park. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't see Anderson <laughs> Cooper doing fucking uh, adverts for the fucking furniture store in the Moy. <laughs> <laughs> Here, let's not go down that fucking rabbit hole. <laughs> Recliners. <laughs> Here, no chat, I might have to go in there very soon. Look at a oh, fucking no, lazy bay. <laughs> two lazy bays here. You? <laughs> you lie on me all day, Con. But that's <laughs> fucking chaos. Um, uh, so yeah, Cooper, you can go take a look. You can see the photographs online. You'll see him uh, with his mother. And then his brother committed suicide uh, was, many years ago. So he was about to talk some shit. Alice it was many years ago. Listen, if they if it is what they say that it is, I mean, those, those young boys when they were young, <laughs> seen a lot of bad shit. That's her there. Though. See them on the bed. Oh no! That is, even that looks like it's from the fucking Shining. That's yeah, it. it's, oh, is uh, that it, fuck off? Yeah, that's Anderson Cooper and her mother. Who again? So if you oh that is him, you can see and see the face. you can see the face. You can't deny us him. Uh, that's what it's, it's kind of back to what I say all the time. It's not a conspiracy. I mean, think of her name. She was Gloria Vanderbilt. 
So Vanderbilt's were the biggest fucking one of the top ten richest families in America. Imagine walking around IKEA and you're like, that's nice, that'd be nice in the spare bedroom and all, wouldn't it? And you're like, what is that supposed to be? I don't know, it's like a fucking demon stabbing shoulder. I don't know. What color what color are you painting it? Grey, like everything else. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what's what's the name out there? The Volkswagen? <laughs> Fourteen ninety nine. Why you would put that over any oh. child's bed? I don't know. Yeah, that's but, fucking yeah. terrifying. The sa- the satanic bit is just hilarious. Like, well, I, I always knew Satanism exist. I'm existed. so unreligious, though. I couldn't even watch for that. I know. That's the well, that, that's the thing. So, I, get I, up eleven o'clock on a on a Sunday. We're going to fucking pray Satan. I'm like, fuck sir. <laughs> Try to fucking work here, man. But I always say this to you. See, we are not going to change. Oh, we are not going to change. I wear my pajamas. Uh, look at me What's you going to do? Anyway? What's you going to do? Put me in hell? Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, if you fucking sit here at home, you go to heaven. Uh, <laughs> All right. Uh, now. Get any thumbs Oops, to the collection, please? <laughs> I have a big toe here if you want it. It's worth three only, thumbs. Only, only two foreskins and an eyebrow. I was out last night. <laughs> I was out last night. Look at the amount of kidneys in there. It's full of kidneys. Nothing worse than you go out. <laughs> your trousers tied while bleeding. <laughs> Take your jeans off. <laughs> All the pancreas fall out of your pockets. Pancreas? <laughs> <laughs> Is it pancreas? I don't know. Just, 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 just sitting there at fucking devil mask dying. I had food fucking nine pints of blood last night. <laughs> fucking O negative, man. <laughs> I, I had fucking nine platelet bombs last night. I had fucking nine. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking I did hell. find out what the difference between Satanism. Uh, I didn't know what Satanism. Wo- obviously, you worship Satan, no. but I didn't ro- know the tenets of it, like the fucking teachings of it. Right. So basically, it's like sort yourself out, and then everybody else is all love and equality and harmony. I was so, like, what? Sounds out. So you know, most of us could be pretty. I mean, I can relate. Satan, I can relate a lot to that. You know yeah. what I mean? We sort yourself like- out first, and then and then everybody else will get the love and equality. But then. That's the problem, is that you've got boys like that who then... Well, what a great episode, sort, of Satanists. <laughs> sort themselves out, and then, you know what I mean? But the whole point of it is then, you're, is, are we not all equal and all one? You know, free love and all that? Yeah. It's, but surely, but Satan, by default, most people are a fucking Satanist then? Exactly. No. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, that's, you fucking, that's, I think that's you're not the gonna, point. You're not going to be like, well, um, my kitchen needs done it, but listen, I've seen you might need some talent done, John, you yours done for it. Yeah. Got, you do sort um, your own shit out first. Absolutely. But that's what I'm saying. But you need to then realise that you fucking might yeah. actually be Satanist. It's one of those things about like Christianity. And this is, I don't obviously don't read enough, so this is just me making it up. But like with, with Catholicism, anyway. Are we on our no, podcast? We should have put a disclaimer <laughs> at the start of this. I don't know what I mean. But none of us know anything. But with like the Catholic Church was the only one I really don't like. They're kind of like, look after each other. It's all about, you know... Me, you, me and you, neighbours looking after each other, but also pay us first. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, we and did talk about that before. Like, yeah. Homeless people. Yeah. yeah. Yuck. Yeah. yeah. You want to be. Uh, there's, so there's there's a lot of stuff that. So Satanists, I, I've said this before. I don't know. We know what. Are you what, sure you're not talking about Satanists? <laughs> <laughs> Just love silk. <laughs> Fucking Mickey the Seamstress. That's, that's awful yeah. soft, isn't it? <laughs> the pleather. That's fucking great. That's gorgeous. Uh, no, I forgot. He does this all the time. <laughs> Having a fucking I don't like getting too serious. It scares me. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome okay. to my furniture. I started a park in six months ago and a full head of her. <laughs> <laughs> and, and a very highly functioning social I media know, account. Dead on, like, I mean, wasn't drunk all the time. Well, nah, you, are, nah, yeah. this is you just weren't naked doing Buffalo Bill. <laughs> um, but yeah, you were. <laughs> So that is, that is a bit of a breakdown. Satanists. Uh, but I've always said, like, if, if you've Christian, we know a Christian extremists and Muslim extremists, mm-hmm. the, the levels they will go to. What level will a Satanist extremist go to? <laughs> you, know what I mean? right. you think about it that way. Who you knows? Know, you fucking see. But some then, of the fucking... is there like non-practicing Satanists? As well? <laughs> like, uh, I, I, I go at Christmas. Well, I, 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 I go to midnight devil mass. And <laughs> I go at solstice. Uh, <laughs> I only drink a drink at home on the twenty-first June. Uh, that's it. <laughs> I went to Devil Church so they've changed all the words. <laughs> <laughs> I've been years. That was fucking scandalous. I had no clue what was going on. Didn't, up even, was know, down. didn't even know when to stand up, right? <laughs> didn't know when I should insert the knife into the kidney. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I forgot my knife. Have you a knife? <laughs> Have you a knife? Who the fuck bring? I trust you to bring six dollars <laughs> to the fucking master's <laughs> <laughs> Stop laughing, stop laughing. <laughs> Satan will see you. Very sweet little oil tickle. Are we leaving a communion? No, Ramstein's playing at the end. 
<laughs> hey, look at that wee alder goat. I haven't seen him in here before. <laughs> wee alder goat. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and now you're reading from Beelzebub's letter to the critics. <laughs> Beelzebub's letter to Trump. Your mother sucks cocks in hell. <laughs> and all together now, it was uh, slip not people equal shit. Uh, so we shouldn't really be laughing at Satanists. Um, uh, might, or, unless we are. If we are Satanists, we can laugh at it ourselves. Is that Just the there's something in the back. Dual housed. Uh, <laughs> there's something funny about reading all this, you know, weird, dark shit. And then you're like, are we okay here in an industrial estate in West Belfast? I think we, you know what I mean? It's I, like, I don't think there's a safer place I, on the fucking planet than the six counties in se- North Ireland. Right. <laughs> Uh, no, yeah. yeah, people would be like, oh, some bad talk, we ain't talking about us. Yeah. Where are we right. going? Oma. Uh, right. the, the fucking... Know, if Jesus came, yeah. if even Jesus came back, was like, oh, I'm Jesus, I'm back. Like, Fuck up! They're getting, they're <laughs> getting fucking beardy here. Uh, <laughs> who, who isn't? Sure. Yeah, there's not a lot that the uh, paramilitaries did uh, positively here, but the one thing they did was they kept all the fucking crazy bastards out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we have right. enough of our own, we don't need any more, yeah. fucking stay back. Exactly. <laughs> Fuck Satanism. <laughs> fucking what about loyalism? You ever seen that? <laughs> <laughs> Talking about the dark arts, bro. You should see what's above there, man. What are you doing? Summoning a hell serpent? <laughs> Boys in aprons and rolled up trousers, that's what they're about. <laughs> Summoning a hell serpent. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking Irish Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> you looking fucked? Uh, uh, what, AG? Is she, is she our Galen Maxwell? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> She only dates a 19 year old, that's uh, all she likes. Oh my god. Fucking hell. Apparently, the story only came out because he turned 20 and she went off him. Yeah. <laughs> nah, too old for me. <laughs> you shaving? Get the fuck out of this bed. <laughs> Dirty cunt. Oh, uh, yeah, so the, uh, we've done all the isms there, didn't we? Yeah, that's it. That's Satanism. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Republicanism, which is where you like to own a bar. Uh, thank you. <laughs> oh, the. the, the <laughs> Twice. <laughs> I was once a public and now I'm a repo. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what? No, I'll edit that out. What about the old? Uh, also, part of that stri- uh, that story thread that it was on was the the frazzle drip thing. Yeah, which is obviously where. Uh, oh, that's what a what cool it... name! Do you know what I mean? There's, oh, there's bar, oh, yeah. Someone's gone to put like put an album out called Frazzle Drip, but uh, oh fuck, yeah, it's like Fraggle Rock after dark. Uh, <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally. So, uh, yeah. Uh, do you, well, do you know anything about it? No? Yeah, yeah. I, I see. Well, I know that, like, they found it in your guy, Anthony Wiener's computer. Wiener has it, yeah. Showing. Uh, but is it on Clinton, the internet? Clint. No. 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 It's right. on uh, It's on Anthony Wiener's laptop, who, which is also situated in the Southern District of New York, which was the one that had the attorney general or the, the attorney sacked there two weeks ago, three weeks uh, ago. Fuck. And then Maxwell was arrested. So, as soon as they got rid of that attorney general, so he was obviously holding things back. Yeah. But in this new year, this woman who was uh, who was there, Audrey, her name was, who was a temp. Mm. <laughs> she, within eight days, she arrested Maxwell. <laughs> that. They, they could have done it a long time ago. Audrey, but people, but I, I thought, because that's the thing with the frazzle. <laughs> <thing. laughs> what an induction day. So the today, video, the video, today, what would you go to do? It's Clinton, Clinton fucking cutting someone's face off and wearing it. It's Clinton and Huma Abedin, who yeah, is Winner's wife. Winner's ex-wife. wife and Clinton's uh, personal assistant. But did you, in this thread, there was audio of a guy, he was a cop or something, who'd seen it, and he was talking about it down the phone, and he was literally a mess. Uh, I he think was talking away about it, like, and uh, you, they take the face off the girl. The thing uh, is, fucking And hell. then he was like, excuse me, I need to take a drink of water. Right, the thing is, the, uh, Frazzle Drip is a, is a, isn't the name for that video. Yeah. It's the name of the act. Oh. So there are other Frazzle Drip videos on the Darknet. Uh-huh. Now, the golden rule on the darknet is you don't click on the JPEG or a video because... It's going to be fucking yeah, disaster. You'll, you'll, well, you can never unsee things that you've seen. Yeah. So I've never seen... But there are some there, yeah. I don't know if they're real or not. I've never clicked them to find out. Nor do I want to. <laughs> but yeah. What's the worst thing I've ever seen? Ken Bigley. <laughs> yeah, I've fucking... i seen that one. In yeah, school, I thought it was a cartoon. What was that? It was the guy... One of the, one of the first guys to get beheaded by... Oh, um, right. Yeah, I was, was, was going to say our, beheading. Uh, our school got the fucking internet and then... You know, there was about a, a two week buffer before they got like a what's like the security thing in like I, the, what do you call the firewall, the sort of firewall. Yeah. And uh, someone was just like, "Watch this here," and you know, and then they fucking turned up the PC speaker, and all you hear is like, um, and nah. his fucking skull hitting the cement floor. And all. I was in art class doing a pastel drawing of a fucking orange. <laughs> 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 I remember watching it like with 
because we just got the internet in the house, and I like I was twenty. We didn't have the internet for fucking years. Yeah, and uh, it was me and my dad. It was like, just what? Stick it on, on see what it fucking. Because my dad had never seen the internet in his life. Oh, he yeah. was like, fuck, what an interruption! Straight to, like, let's see what the fuck. Yeah, no, let's, did, let's watch it beheading. But we watched like the because the, there was a shortened version of it where the like the start fucking stabbing him, and then it's just the guy holding his head up. Uh, so that was one we seen. Well, I mean, even that we were like, I wish I'd never seen that. Aye, like, no, there's because uh, you can't. It's, it's always going to be in your brain. You've yeah. always seen it. You've always uh, well edited. Hear that? Mm-hmm. No. Mm. Am I, but uh, it'd be even funnier if they did just do you go, hey, but it only record for <laughs> it only record for eighteen minutes. A <laughs> piece of Sony bollocks shit bastard. I'm trying to make this on my Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> for fuck's sake, <laughs> get another one. <laughs> get another one, stupid bastard. <laughs> Delete that. I look stupid. <laughs> I tell you, what's your name? Mohammed, oh, of course. Uh, <laughs> it goes 15 seconds, 15 seconds. You have 15 seconds, go. <laughs> I have bunny rabbit filter. <laughs> For fuck's sake, Osama, I may as well send this to you being framed. <laughs> da, 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 da. Lisa Riley shit her knickers. 250 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for oh, that's another ism that we fucked up. <laughs> Cancelled. Oh my god. Uh, I know, sure. What can you do? Let's oh, watch well. this video of Kanye West losing his mind. Do you think there's anything behind Kanye West pretending he's running for something? Kanye's playing a blinder, I think. I can't. Sorry. All right, sorry, Kanye. I was only one opinion. Alopecia's wild. Listen to him go all like Obama. You know, he's uh, like, I have my leather pants. <laughs> saying shit that in the same sort of voice, but yeah, like make total, it, oh, I, smooth as fuck, yeah. And I'm going to skip along because he cries at some point. What? Not right, can you? Oh, what's this? Yeah, yeah. He's crying. Easy. easy. Put my dick in your mouth. <laughs> yeah. Put my dick in your mouth. Oh. 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 <laughs> like, I, whenever dogs only hear you, that's the time. That's time to stop recording. Can you? But this is not a good start. To, like, no. what the fuck? Do you, why is he doing this? Why? Why would he even be trying to? There, there was a big thing about the time. Do you remember something? Uh, happened. He's talking about Paris there. Remember something happened a couple of years ago where Kim Kardashian there was some sort of yeah she they sort he, of held her up for jewelry. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. So Kardashians are Albanian. Well, the BCA. That's their that's their link. That's how they got. Think of his dad. Think of their dad, Robert Kardashian. So Robert Kardashian was OJ's handler. Yeah, yeah. So he was that was OJ, that was his job. He was a handler for OJ. So, did nobody ever question where the Kardashians come from? Handler was he not just his like? Was he not just, ah, his just lawyer? His, oh, he's just his buddy, wasn't he? Just friends. Was, was he not his friends? Lawyer? Apparently, no, sure. It was. Uh, I read enough. He was just his mate. Even in the yeah. OJ documentary, he was like, he just knew him. Just knew the juice from. Uh, mm-hmm. It's weird, that isn't it? But I don't know about Ross from Friends. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. So you think the Definitely Kardashians are CIA? No, I don't mean as in they are CIA, as in he was. Bang bang. That's where their <laughs> yeah. That's where their money would have come from. But it, it depends on what you when you everybody hear CIA, they think oh they must be spies. You're like yeah. no, it doesn't have to be a spy because Operation Mockingbird wasn't about spying. Yeah, it was about putting out subliminal messages and and controlling the narrative and letting shape and how yeah. people think. And what's bigger than that show? Like, than right. And who's more influential than fuck? And yeah, it doesn't have to be massively intriguing or smart. It can literally just be like get fucking fourteen year olds. Yeah, to, to, to buy, buy a certain loss. merchandise. Right. Yeah, that's all it is. Yeah, yeah. And it, like, literally, it, let's be honest, if, like if, if fucking Kylie Jenner or whatever will be like a billionaire again overnight. Right. Yeah. Just like it drops tomorrow, and the next day she's like ching ching. Mm-hmm. That's all it is. That's another money channeling source. Like that's yeah. So uh, yeah. There you are. 
Fuck! <laughs> he just looks like Mickey. Like, he looks like Mickey. Looks like in the fucking. You have to question where all of them come from. Like I mean, Puff Daddy. I talked to this in our podcast. Like Puff Daddy's dad was fucking wash your mouth out of him. P Daddy. P Daddy's fucking dad, Melvin Combs, was the biggest drug trafficker for the CIA in America. So he he shipped coke all over the country. It was, remember your guy Barry Seal? Remember the, Tom Cruise made a film? Yeah, American Made. Yeah, right. linking with that as well. It was all, Melvin Combs was. That's like where they the, killed those two. We, Lads, didn't they? Yeah. CIA, I mean, like, fucking, they, they dropped weed or something out of a plane. What was it? And then <laughs> they turned up to get it, and there was just these two wee lads, and they were like, they squashed them on the fuck? Yeah. Sorry. Shit. You hit by a train, unstabbed or something. Yeah, I seen a thing on WikiLeaks the other day from 2010 where Coke uh, in Africa, like, one of the lorries drove over 10 children and killed them. But wasn't Coca-Cola? mentioned. Coca-Cola? Yeah. Really? Just wasn't mentioned in the news. It was just a wee accident. It was only 10 wee-ins. Aye, Africa's a different Kelfish. Aye, ah, so who cares about Africa? They're really children. Like, there's so many weird fucking, like, just on. Talking about coke, I have a friend who worked for um, worked alongside like Aboriginal people in Australia, mm-hmm. and their like reservations are owned by Coca Cola. Mm-hmm. So if you go to their like wee shops, a bottle of water is like or an apple is expensive as fuck, but a bottle of coke's like fucking eighteen p or whatever. Well, that's the way. So they're you end up all these, all these kids stuff, that like are like tobacco. fucking fat and diabetic, and like you know, where do they get their water from? There's some places you're like, it's a shame you can't eat the fags around here because <laughs> they're cheap as fuck. <laughs> Uh, yeah, where, where does Coke or PepsiCo get their, their water from? The sky? <laughs> the collector really? The Kardashians? Like, I don't know, where the fuck are we going? The collector cups. See this water. Uh, well, I mean, that's, that's probably why Africa is <laughs> always in fucking drought, isn't it? Mm. They just drain the whole fucking they thing? They just take out everything, all the resources. You think of all the minerals you need to get your fucking laptops and your microphones going. and All comes from Africa. Yeah, I'm in the CIA. Yeah, well, fuck no, you, right? don't let you, you You'd feel the fitness <laughs> test, you fat cunt. <laughs> uh, Just what about you? <laughs> <laughs> we do. <laughs> right now, where is Thomas? <laughs> nah, tell me I don't look like a fucking... You, well, you look like Albanian. Fucking, uh, no, you, you do look like <laughs> you do look like Hunter S. Thompson times. <laughs> I glass. had Hunter S. Thompson. <laughs> Munter S. Thompson. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, Maureen, I wouldn't stand for that. I would not fucking stand for that at all if I was you. Uh, fucking hell. Um, uh, yes, there's so, so many fucking... I could take you down for hours, man, on, on different shit. Like, there's so much... So you think, when you say CIA, you just mean people who are massively well, influential? Whether well, it's money, entertainment, yeah, yeah. fucking news, whatever. Well, you see, I found out about this fucking bunch of cunts before Q came along. Mm-hmm. Mainly because I got evicted out of my house after <laughs> after we had to live in negative equity. Uh, we had a housing crash, remember, 2007, yes. 2008, and we lost 70 grand overnight. <laughs> we woke up one morning, we were 70 grand less in our house, and we didn't know what happened. And uh, I just thought, well, that's not going to fucking happen to me again, so I'm going to try and learn and understand where money comes from mm-hmm. and how it operates. So I spent a few years learning about money, and I uh, <laughs> wish the fuck I hadn't bothered. Because, right. uh, yeah, corruption has been... This is the thing, and this is what gets me sometimes with this conspiracy stuff, because now I'm getting really worried about the Q stuff, because now what's happening is child abuse and human trafficking are now being clumped into conspiracy theory topics. You're like, right. no, 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 well, them things the way, are that's very... The way to, that's the way to rubbish that's it. That's how like, to rubbish it. Yeah. But I'm saying, no, them things are very fucking real. Keep them in the forefront. Don't be putting conspiracy word onto that, because that's not the case. Right. The conspiracy element is whether or not there's rich people doing it. That's the only conspiracy element. Human trafficking and child abuse does exist. And oh, does like happen. you said, the power manipulation thing, the, the only way, yeah, once, once you've you have enough money to do anything you want, the the thrills in life are going to yeah, be, that's it. how close can you fucking walk to, to the edge of this cliff? And before, then, you know what I mean? But, it's but like, then also remember, how close can you get to the fire? Well, say you're somebody young, say you're like, I don't know, say 25, 26, and you're just making it in Hollywood, and then you get caught doing something. You're, mm-hmm. you're, you're their slave for the rest of your career. Because they have you blackmailed the whole way through. It might have been something stupid. It Publicly might have been, or privately? It might have been something like taking coke or maybe, somebody uh, like a clean image, like a Zac Efron or somebody like that whose images want to be tarnished. They have you then. You know, they'll just say, yeah, either do what we do or else your career's over. We're going to ruin it. You see, that's why you got to be, you know, like a Joey Diaz type. That's what right, you got to be a fucking, fuck like it's just you got to be a Con Geddes type. It's fucking a, independent, do your own thing and controlled by nobody. Yo! <laughs> Collins investigation. <laughs> Collins intelligence agency. <laughs> do you want a coffee? But realistically, who could tell you what to do now? You know, realistically, nobody could. You would do your own thing. Yeah. And, not, and, not and when it comes to your career development and rest, nobody's going to say, well, you have to do this. Yeah. Or you have to do a show. No. I know. I, I, I get those That is just like when Paddy Raff's show went on. Shout out to Paddy Raff. Uh, and they were like, man, you, I love that. Man, you should do a, a TV show. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but even at the time, it was like, you. I mean, like, you'd have to be getting into, like, really silly money before I'd even fucking yeah. entertain it. Yeah. And it would so, have to be, like, life-changing right. money, and I do whatever I want, or else I have no interest in doing it at yeah. all. And then it gets the question then, well, wouldn't that be the reason why nobody would come near somebody like that? You know, somebody in that line of corruption, like a like a, a, a t- BBC is corrupt as fuck. I don't know BBC Northern Ireland, but BBC in general is is, is co- completely corrupt. You go to Channel Four, all the rest of them. Are, are they looking at somebody like yourself and going, "He's not going to be able to win control"? I you, that, that might be, un, that un, might be un, unbendable. You know, like, like we're not going to get him to do what we want to do. We need to have people. Like <laughs> <laughs> unbendable. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's and, what, and that wouldn't have happened without the internet. True. You know, so there is a freedom that comes with that now uh, that has. Uh, but I wasn't see, available to people in the past. You know, like I don't know whether it's yeah, you talk about money or I've thought a lot about money and stuff like that. It's not even enough for me to like I start thinking about like you know, what what would I do if I didn't do stand up? If I just take that away, yeah. can I survive? Lockdown comes, I've done all right. Mm-hmm. What if something else happens? Right. What if that goes away? And then I'm like, you know, listen to all these fucking books, like how how can you automate money? Like how can you be getting paid when you're going to sleep and all that yeah, shit? No. You know, all it can be done, and, but then, and then I start, shit. and then I start just thinking way ahead. Where I'm like, what if I just had to stop doing all that? Like, what? Right. You know, but that's called being that's called being prepared and planning. Is that just when you have you a know, child? All of a sudden, you're that, like, that does have a child too. Um, you start thinking, fucking, I've not have another eighteen years of this shit. Yeah, <laughs> you start thinking a bit like, a, yeah. see that? Is it Satanist to be like, you know, when you start? I mean, it's fucking. You know, when you start like looking at all these, even government and these big businesses, and you're like, oh, I'm fucking, he's that, and he only employed him because he's. Giving him money or he's his mate or something, but it happens. Re- it happens in Lavery's comedy club everywhere. Do you know what I mean? It, it, it comes yeah. right down the chain. We are like, yeah. oh, I need someone to do ten minutes. And all. Uh, who can get here the quickest and who? Yeah, uh, who, Mick, and who the road it? You know, it's like, oh, yeah, who do I know well enough to get? It's, yeah, it's like the yeah. first easiest thing yeah. that you can fucking trust. You but know, you multiply that across everything. Of course, yeah. banking, fucking yeah. farming, whatever. You know, it doesn't and, matter. And it's, once, all. it's the same as like once you. Get, it's like the re- uh, it's the reason people go to fucking a lot of churches on a Sunday. They're like, we'll go here and we shake hands and I'm doing a wee house and Jim over there is doing the thing and he's a roofer and this. And you just make this wee connection. It's, it's just like, that only lifted and set like somewhere yeah. else where it seems way more fucking seedy. That's a community. Yeah. And of course so you'd be like, else, yeah. you know, oh, we're going to do this and, you know, we're all philanthropists and all this shit and we need a yeah. we need a party put on. Oh, it's good. We, own, we know this guy owns a big venue and these right. ones do events. And, you know, it's yeah. just The like, difference is if you go to your wee church on the sun and go, he's putting a roof on, we're building the house, you're not also going, and we're going to murder these cunts just to make sure we get it. <laughs> Who knows? Do you know what I mean? They're Presbyterians. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. They're fucking Presbyterians. <laughs> That's they the kill other them thing. differently. Right. Like, kill like them with kindness. Uh, uh, fucking hell. If you're worshipping Moloch, is that his name, Moloch? If you were, that's, that's the same. direction. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Moloch, M-O-L-O-C-H. Uh, that's the, that's the, 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 the sort of, what do you call it? The figurehead of the, of the Satanist church. Um, and that's who they, they worship in that sense. Um, now I have a tattoo book for the first of August. And uh, that looks all right to me. Let me see. Oh, fuck. If you get Moloch or Baphomet, is it Baphomet? B-A-P-H. Go to Baphomet and you'll see the two finger. Baphomet's actually the Irish pronunciation of Bartlett. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck. I'll see you like There we are, there. That's, I mean, that's, no, that, that, that just ba- looks like a fucking slip. Ba- is, oh, is, that's, well, that's, is, yeah, that's is ultimate. Is Baphomet yeah. not the thing you step on when you get out of the bath? <laughs> the satin Baphomet. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, it's, I mean, the imagery is cool. Yeah, imagery. Do, is, do, do you know what I mean? It's like the Nazis. You're yeah, like these yeah. motherfuckers can graphic design, uh, and that's them, their goddamn trade. Yeah, and they know their fashion. That's where Hugo Boss is brought in. Yeah. Um, what was the other thing I was going? Oh yeah, the old goat boy Bill Hicks. Remember that? Mm. Oh, you get that, and then you've got the symbolism that goes with it too. So you've got all these cons that do like they know each other. This is the thing. I don't know what to look out for, and I'm presuming you two don't. I'm not, no, I, I, no, I don't. Never, I don't know about you. Uh, I don't even look out for oncoming traffic. <laughs> <laughs> but they know what to look out for. They know the symbols. They know how to communicate to each other like in a room. Like if they have to, like, yeah. If they're, in a, if they're in a room and nobody else, and you're not even speaking to each other, there's a way of signaling each other that you are. Really? Like, we wouldn't know it. Because I would just look at, like, Anthony Weiner and go, Rapist! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, there's some of them that you just... And then <laughs> Wiener, I want a name too. Uh, Wiener uh, is uh, fucking uh, rotten. Uh, <laughs> and like, well, you see, like she's actually quite good looking. Yeah, but when you see, you're going like, yeah, 
Hvem er Abaddon? Hvem er Abaddon? Hvem er Abaddon? Baphomet? Hvem er Abaddon? Baphomet? Og hvordan sagde det så gennem? Ja. Og hvordan sagde det så gennem? Ja. Did nah, you mean like if they go for a weekend and like fucking uh, I think we're in like Barcelona and they're like, uh, where did we eat today? And you're walking around, got, look at the streets and they're like, oh, <laughs> and it's got to be symbol on their, on their logo. They're like, yeah, I'm looking for the old. Uh, you've got multiple thick things. skin pizza. Yeah, you've got uh, you've got symbolism. You've got uh, jewelry and brooches that also <laughs> right. um, dictate. And then you have handshakes, obviously, that would do. But uh, <laughs> they, 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 they don't work during a lockdown, funnily enough, which is good. So how does a Freemason recognize each other if they can't during can't a lockdown? Leave the house? Can't leave the house, can't shake hands. <laughs> what is it? We tickle in the past. <laughs> there is, isn't there one of those? There is somewhere. It's, like, it's, it's, yeah. a, it's a, finger, uh, a finger over the top of another one, and then it links some, some weird. Well, we're getting shot now. That's yeah. all good. We're fucked. Uh, but yeah, so there's loads of that. So, um, Nancy Pelosi still wears a fucking Satanist pin here. She wears a, that's a long, it's actually, it's actually the World Health Organization's oh, fucking, the fucking snake and the, snake the, and the needle the sword. Thing? Yeah. Uh, so she still wears it. I seen it like a couple of days ago. She was still wearing it. I was like, we don't even fucking hide it anymore. Uh, so that's an old Satanist thing. That thing there. Yeah. Yeah. They, why do they always wear these like fucking Doctor Evil? Mm-hmm. So they don't even well. hide it. Well, that's just to let people at home know that she's part of that. Club, you know. And if you don't know what you're looking for, you just see a brooch. Par brooch is eighty sexual tax and jewelry. Ay, fuck off. Aye. Well, I'm not going to sleep tonight. Aye, well, welcome to my world. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I drink. <laughs> to stop the voices. <laughs> uh, but even if you think, I think, uh, I mean, that's what I was going to say, that's why I smoke weed. But if you think of what's going on um, in the, uh, recently, there's a fucking, did you see the boys get all lifted last week? Yeah, the UK wide. Oh, uh, all the coke and heroin and the weed was all lifted. 70 guys were arrested throughout the UK, part right. of a national crime agency. Right. And one of them was a fucking ex Tyrone all Ireland footballer. He got lifted, and I don't care. We're on radio or podcast or wherever the fuck we're on. Uh, he must have been supplying everybody because there's fucking drought on. <laughs> 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 a drought like the great drought of 07. All I'm uh, saying, Tarlick, <laughs> get yourself out of there because the big man's smoking tea bags. I'm just saying, uh, if you need a cake with a file sent in to you, I'll bring her in, sir. <laughs> just whatever you need. Uh, but I, so I mean, but that was all done through the Encro chat, which is like a, uh, it's like wicker, like a, a encrypted messenger. Mm. Mm-hmm. Not encrypted anymore. What does that mean? It means the government got fucking got through it, got through it, and and took them all seventy of them. In or the did they put it there? Mm, no. <laughs> uh, so this is like uh, it had to be that big. I, Isn't it funny? <laughs> I've been getting phone calls from boys I haven't heard of in fucking years. Going, he's a here. I'm no one spoke to you in about seventeen years, but. Uh, uh. Any weed about that? Like, no, there's nothing, man. It's fucking. Is it funny that if you were like so hardcore in the game, you'd be like, oh, I'll just move to fucking Colorado or something? You know I, what I mean? Where if, I, if I wasn't married, I would have had an apartment in Amsterdam a long time ago. Yeah. And then Colorado. Class. Maybe Sorry. California. But, uh, but no, I don't. Shed no, and Tron will do it. Shed and Tron because I love my wife and Aye. children. If you smoke enough weed, you are in California. <laughs> <laughs> Tink, 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 tink. California. <laughs> no, California. <laughs> don't, Kelly has got some of the best stuff, and I have yet to get out there. You've been you, there? Yeah. I don't think you're allowed to call it Kelly when you're from Tyrone, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the Kelly Weed. You know, right in Kelly. Kelly. <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> Kelly Weed. <laughs> Kelly Maguire. <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm going into full uh, Darknet talk there. Uh, Kelly Grade is what his past is. No. So, yeah. Well, I, I won a couple of pre rolls, and uh, none of them would have fucking. It held a candle to some of the stuff of all of you, <laughs> to be honest. I, I was on the fucking, in West Hollywood on my way apartment, and we were renting, and it was like, this is going to fucking send me into the dark side. And then I was just like, oh, that's lovely. I <laughs> went up that place and got like fucking some death in a sandwich, and uh, you know, come home. Oh, Casey got a wee bit of weight there. <laughs> Two puffs of that, and <laughs> fucking dying. I told you the time I fucking... You just feel like you put your head out the window of a fucking moving jet. I, the time... I, <laughs> <laughs> I smoked something, not not even like, well, I don't even think it was a joint. In fact, i tell you what it was, we had fucking rolled a joint the night before, had about three heads each, and you went here to take a, the yeah. extra half home with you. I was like, I'll probably be alright smoking half this joint by myself. I just fucking blasted it. Oh, all I, was, like. I was putting stuff in the dishwasher, and I made it, I just eventually just went, what's the point? In Put his shoes in the dishwasher. He's <laughs> lost his mind. Didn't even have a dishwasher. It's my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> Put that plate up you. Uh, oh. And yeah, leather for eight hours, just eating Harry books. Like. Oh, them were the good old days, them. I don't I haven't had them in a long time, them days. I mean, them. it's fucking, some of that shit was like, literally like, you're, you're like, I'm dying of the munchies. And you're like, 
but it's uh, way over there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, know, you're going like, I don't want to move. Remember the time, the time in Draper's Town whenever I took the fucking giggles? <laughs> Hey, bug, rock bug. and roll stories from that <laughs> bugged everywhere. Like, is that when you find a, a warm Chinese? No, that was the year after. It wasn't warm. It was fucking roasting. <laughs> <It was roasting. laughs> Some pair bass just walked away from it. Someone uh, else smoking, smoking joints and just yeah. fucking <laughs> left it there. And we ran the the everywhere. I was talking about it the other day. Them spring rolls. Did that say something? I, I, I guarantee that ta- like, it, 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 we could see the taxi at the end of the road. He had just left it. Oh, that's hard. And then it was like and then it was gone. But I know right that he turned, got that taxi turned around to come back. Uh, and then I just wanted to see the CCTV and them going where. Fuck did I go to? Uh, <laughs> just me and Casey run Aliens, up the, run, run up the stairs at the same time going, there might be a god and don't ever tell anybody about this. <laughs> I've never it must have been thirty or forty pounds worth of food. In one was, bag. And, it was fucking brilliant. And it was it got destroyed. Mm-hmm. Like just and then 10, it, lo- 10, it looked 10. lovely when Mickey was spraying it across the wall then. At the no, I didn't book that No, that was not then it was different. Because no. the Chinese time I remember trying to eat a chicken satay <laughs> off a saucer with a teaspoon. <laughs> <laughs> Because that was all there was in the hotel, hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> they have a hotel in Draper's Night? Oh, yeah. There's a bunch of them. Bo- a, a boutique hotel, no less. Uh, it's fucking lovely, actually. Because the first, the first the time when I took French a French for someone's house. <laughs> <laughs> when I was laughing, we got, like, somebody came over to tell us off. Oh, that's Because I was high. laughing we were, my fucking we ball were, bag off. We were pretty loud. What are you doing? That was a great night, man. Just enjoy the sensation. It's sanitizing wee... my hands. Oh. All right. Just a wee spray. How much you? time have we left now, do you know? Fucking must be a load of time if he sanitizes himself. An hour and seven minutes. An hour and seven minutes. Oh, jeez. We'll wrap it up shortly. Is COVID real? Yes. Yeah. Pandem- Join us next the, week the, where the, uh, <laughs> MMA fighter Labour Court's uh, the, the pandemic's not. <clears throat> but COVID's real. I mean, if you do, if you give the regular flu a different name every year, would you yeah. be shitting all over yourself too? Exactly. Um, yeah. I fucking heard a thing the other day. Well, actually, I actually was talking to you about it. Australia's going into their second lockdown, so there's like army on the streets in Melbourne, apparently, fucking uh, keeping people in their houses. There's been 107 people died of COVID in the entire time. Okay. Oh, the, since, like, like, go, since the yeah. start of it, 107. Because I remember it was telling me I was going 107,000. Like, nah, 107. I'm mm-hmm. going 107 million. Like, no, 107. So I did, like, I did the maths like, again of like the. it's There's 292,000 confirmed cases in the UK the last time I checked, it was a couple of days ago. Uh, which sounds massive, but then when you divide it up, that's not 0.437 percent. And they're talking about the fact there's been well, for maybe you have the ones that haven't been confirmed cases. Nobody's went to the hospital or the doctor, or whatever. But then a lot of them have been double counted. Mm. So although the virus is real, I just don't think that it's been worth all the shit we've done. And what yeah, I don't think you should close it. down the, the the whole economy for it. And and now make people wear masks now, but oh, not not the at the start. Down. That's retarded. Not like. at the start, but now wear it now because the virus all of a sudden has got stronger. Stronger strain? Would that not be COVID-20 then? No, because the 19th oh, of the year. It's, it, oh, it's, but it's the same strain, so it hasn't changed since the start of lockdown uh, to now. So, I don't know. Why, why has it got stronger? Masks weren't needed at the start, but they're needed now. I mean, I mean that's fucking... Mm-hmm. I mean, we were wearing masks at the at the gig there on Saturday. Mickey wasn't, but it was... But nobody uh, was... It, that, it, it, it felt thing, fun, you know? He would have got fucking I, sacked if he did. That was the thing. There's people wearing masks... That's what bugs me about it. It's like, either if you're going to wear it, keep it fucking on. Yeah. Don't wear it and then pull it down and stand there and being like, I'm safe. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I was just, just don't it's, wear it's, it's a form of virtue signaling by having it on. But I think it's something that, uh, as but well as that, it's also maybe a protection from other people who might have a go at you for wearing it. But having it on and taking it down over your mouth or your nose, what the fuck's the point? I, I've seen a lot of people on Twitter who, like, six months ago, would have been like, making women like of the Muslim faith where hijabs is anti-feminist and it's a fucking disgrace and then the same people are going if you don't wear a mask <laughs> when you're in public I'm going to get sick <laughs> the amount of times I've been told to take a hat off in a bar did you see the thing and now you can't get in unless your whole face is covered there's a fucking brilliant thing uh, kids over like underage drinkers in England have been putting on old ladies wigs and their masks and getting Aye. served in off licences <laughs> I'm like yes fight the power yep that's the way like, to do it I swear I've seen that myself. A great though. idea. And, and like again, because of the mask. Full Adidas tracksuit and a grey wig, like, but sure. Because <laughs> then they're going, can you take your mask down so I can prove your whatever? And you go, no. No, I don't want to get COVID. Like and then get, no, yeah. give me four bottles of Concord. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the only ones you want I'm to wear. <laughs> yeah, four big bottles of Blue Wicked. <laughs> I'm 88. <laughs> <laughs> I'm high risk. It's the only thing cuts me to sleep. Go on. <clears throat> uh, burp, yeah. burp, burp. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they all had to break in, didn't they? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I just I don't know. I think it's very, uh, it's very. It's, I think it's going to be great for criminals. Oh, thriving. never going to be able to oh, recognize them. Weed in throne, but I... uh, if you are, give me a shout, sir. <laughs> that's <laughs> not a criminal. That's a forward thinker. Hit me up. <laughs> I found two fucking 
vape cartridges we cleaned out a drawer where are they in my house Where's your house? <laughs> <laughs> I'll get the masks. <laughs> I think I think I might have had a bit of a shelf life. It's lost a bit of potency. I'll never lose it. Don't worry, I'll jack it out. Just to make sure. <laughs> get it back up to stretch. Right, we're going to have to cut it off here because we're going to run out of time. Clean off. I think. Thanks for being my guest today, guys. Thanks, Thanks for, for having, having us. Jesus, I fucking... Ch- oh, and oh. the HQ and all? Oh, fuck. It's been good to get everybody to yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, well that's that's, 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 that's the, the main that. purpose. <laughs> it's right. That's fucking black belt lurking. That. Uh, I'm just this. This is why I got the office, just so we could have more guests and multiple guests. You know what yes. I mean? You notice, you notice on the hit rate, people like to see a bit of a chat going on. You got to get a bit of life on there. You know what I mean? Like I to see that. Get up and set it. Yeah, yeah. I seen Woodsy on there, and he was too skinny for camera. Sorry, Woodsy, you're too skinny for camera. I've noticed how he's, he's, he's how I, fucking that's, big, that's how big I am. Like when other people are sitting on this seat. Uh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Apparently, I'm like, yeah. um, mm-hmm. you know, I feel like oh. I need a fucking one camera cropped in on. That's on right. I was looking at like the photo of all of us on uh, on Saturday night, where I'm like post lockdown, everybody's had their glow up, and I'm just fucking blocked. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, fucking... I haven't changed. <laughs> your face is in, but your neck's not. Uh, yeah, don't have a neck anymore. <laughs> it, just, it just goes fucking chin, chin, tit, <laughs> skinny legs, my my <laughs> chin, 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 chin. Right. We're getting the fuck out of here. See you later. Take Thank you very much. Deck chair and the Elvis podcast on all the platforms that are soon to be uh, banned from. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. See Thank you later. You. Bye bye.